Surprise! And yes, we are going to install the famous M.2 memory stick. As you can tell, it's factory sealed and I'm going to open it right in front of you guys. I'm very excited every time I install one of those. It saves us so much cabling and space and, well, apparently the transfer rate is absolutely insane on that particular piece. I mean, we're talking about up to 2.5 gigabyte reading. But where is this going to be sitting? Well, Aces this time came up with a very ingenious idea. Instead of putting the M.2 next to the CPU or the video card as it is in other motherboards and to keep it as far as possible from the hottest element in your computer, Asus engineers have actually hidden the M.2 connector under a protecting shield on the motherboard and on the southern side of the motherboard, far away from the GPU and the CPU. And sure, it does look pretty cool, but other than that, it actually is pretty cool. Um, you have a couple of things here we can see. On the right hand side, we can see the CMOS battery. And on the left side, you can see the M.2 connector as well as its different size screw holder. And now I'm going to assemble the screw razor on the 80mm screw holder. The screw razor is provided by the motherboard manufacturer and not the M.2 manufacturer. Those M.2 uh, memory sticks come in a variety of sizes. That is why we can see more than one screw holder. So for example on this board we can accommodate four different chip sizes. First comes the 42mm, then the 60mm, the most common one is 80mm and finally the 110mm. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and clip in our memory stick into the motherboard. Uh, you will feel a little bit of resistance when pressing the stick onto the screw holder. Make sure that uh, the screw holder hole and the notch on the stick perfectly fit. And now we can safely secure the stick into position uh, using a 1mm diameter screw. Again, make sure it is tightened, but don't over tight it as well. Uh, it is sensitive to friction. All right, time is now to place back the motherboard shield and to secure it in place as well. Make sure to do it correctly and not break any of the plastic stumps on the side of it. As you press it in position, you hear some click and clack here and there and that's totally normal and our last step here is to place back the screws that we took off a few minutes ago et voilà we've just installed the m.2 memory on our motherboard 